Hello and welcome. This is the second and uh, hello and welcome to um JHEP and World of Education's lesson on Secret Citizen series part one. There are obviously going to be two or three more parts to this. Um, but on this lesson, we're going to be looking at finding the general terms of a sequence, finding the terms using the general um the general formula, should I say, using the using the recurrence formula and converging and diverging sequences. Obviously, AQ, um, obviously NXL students can look away after that because it's not really strictly on the syllabus just yet. Now, um, the first thing, we've seen this all before, and in year seven, you, may, you might have remembered that you needed to find what the term-to-term -term rule is. Okay, I call it TOT, term-to-term -term rule, or tot -ar if you want to call it that. And what you need to do is just find out um, how to get from one term to the next. And that rule is to add two. Add two, add two, add two. So the term to term rule is to add two. Now, the general formula, as you might also remember, um, the, skeleton, the skeleton of that is A, N, plus B and it might look a bit dodgy but the A um, you substitute the term to term rule for that okay so the term to term rule is add 2 so plus 2N or 2N plus B now this B stands for the term before the one they gave you you started with so therefore if you go back one 2 minus 2 is 0. So that's the previous term to the term they've given you, the term that I've given you. And we just write 2, uh, we just write 0 here. You don't have to, but there you go. So the general formula is 2n. Now the thing in A level is that we actually have a symbol for um, general formula, and that is actually un. Um. Okay, just like how add has the symbol, has that symbol, un is the symbol for general formula. So un equals 2n. And um, from this, you can find out that we can actually replace, if you wanted to find out what the fifth term is, we can replace n with 5 over here, and this n with 5 over here. Remember, we cannot just um, use random numbers for n. We can't just write 6 here and 5 there. The n has to be the same. So, for the next one, for this one over here, we know that the term to term rule is to add 4 because 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So the general formula, the un equals, um, sorry, it equals 4n plus, and then we need to find out what the, um, we need to find out what the previous term is. So that's minus 1. So it would actually be 4n minus 1. Okay, and that is general, that's the general, um, that's the general formula for this particular sequence. So um, for us to find out what the sixth term is, or the fiftieth term, or the thousandth term is, we're not just going to keep on adding two each time. We're not going to write 12, 14, 16, 18. No, there's a quicker way to do it. And all we need to do is to actually find out, um, we actually just need to substitute n for whatever term we're looking for. So let's say we're looking for the sixth term, um, just, just because it's easier to prove. So that will be u6 equals 2 times 6, and that equals 12. Voila! And as you can see, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. So, um, well, that's it. That's that's how you find out what the term is. So let's say we want to find out what the 50th term is. That will be 2 times 50. Remember, these numbers are always the same. N, 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 N. They're always the same. And that will make 100. So that is the 100th. That The 50th term is the 100. Is 100. So to find out what the the seventh term is for this, we would write u7 equals 4 times 7 
minus 1. That will be 28 minus 1 and that will equal 27. If we, f if we continue the sequence on, 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 90 plus 4 is 23, 23 plus 4 is 27. And voila, as you can see, these numbers are the same. And that will be first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term. And that is 27. So, um, the next thing we need to know about is the recurrence formula. Now, students can get a bit diff um, can get a bit confused with this. I mean, I was confused at it when I had to look at it in the book. But if you have a look over here, these general terms only tell us how to sh get to a certain term straight away. So, for example, it's telling us how to um, how to get to London Bridge by just dropping there from the sky, let's just say for example. But the recurrence formula tells us actually how to get from one term, from the current term that you're looking at, to the next one. So it's like saying how to get from London Bridge through Waterloo, okay? Or how to start from Waterloo and get to London Bridge. We're just having, um, we're just looking, the recurrence formula is just looking at how to get from the third term to the fourth term, or the fifth term to the sixth term, or the seventh term to the eighth term, and so on and so forth. And we will represent that by saying, by writing, un plus one. And this tells us to get from, sorry for my horrible handwriting, to get from the current term to the next, to the next. Okay, if we wanted to find out how to get to the previous term, we would write un minus 1, and that is to get from the current term to the previous. And if you wanted to find out how to get from un to the second, um, to get to the, what's it, the second next term, if that's even proper English, we would write un plus 2 and so on and so forth. So, to actually put this in practice, what we need to do, we're going to use um, the UN plus one one. We're going to use that just for ease of simplicity, UN plus one. And let's say, for example, um, we want to get from the first term to the third term. No, sorry, from the first term to the second term. To second, I'll use blue. Second. So. How would we get from the first term to the second term? Remember, don't, don't, don't like keep the previous term there. Always rub it off because it can get very confusing. So how would we get from the first term to the second term? We add two, okay? We use the current, um, we use the current term and we add two. And that's what we're saying. That's what we have to write here. We use the current term and we add two. And that's it. That's that's how you find out what the um, what the recurrence formula for that is. It's the current term that you're looking at right now plus two. So let's say for example. Oh, and also I need to forgot in recurrence formula you always have to write down what the first term is. And to do that we would write u one equals two. Okay, because remember you might not have this sequence over here. So you need to write down what the first term is. So that was rubbish. Okay. U1. Right? Equals 2. So to get to the second term, U1 plus 1, let's say for example, that will be the first term, which is 2. That's the first term, which is 2, plus 2. And as you know from year 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4. And then I came knocking at your door. There, there's the second term. We can, we can actually use this to find out what the fifth and the sixth formula is. Um, the fifth and sixth term is. Sorry, beg your pardon. And to do that, we would actually go from fifth to sixth. We would actually do un plus one or u5 plus one um, equals u5 plus two. u5 is 
First term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, 10. Plus two, and that equals 12. And that's our sixth term right there. Um, if you wanted to, if you wanted to be adventurous, as you should be in maths, and um, do un plus two, you just need to ask yourself, how do you get from one term to the second next term? And that is to add four, or to add two and add two again, but that's the same thing. So that will equal un plus four. So to go from the fifth term to the seventh term, it would be u. 5 plus 2 and that will equal u5 plus 4. u5 is 10 plus 4 is 14. The seventh term, if you want to use the general formula, if you feel like a smart a smarty, we use um, 2 times 7, okay, 2n, 2 times 7, that equals 14. So we've got one proof, we've got one check here, and another check would be to add two again to find the term here. Bob Jean call. Um, the same the same goes on for here. Um, the UN plus one would be UN plus four. The UN plus two will be UN plus eight. The UN minus one it would be UN well <laughs> it would be UN minus four. Am I right? Yes. 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 Yeah, 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 I'm right. Okay, now all for your NXL students, you can stop there. Um, the next one is converging and diverging um, sequences. Oh, by the way, this is diverging because, well, you'll see. So with converging and diverging sequences, those sequences that we just had over here diverge because they're not concentrating at a certain point. These ones, for example, 8, 7.9, 7.85, 7.849, 7.8483, 7.84825, 7.84823, 7.84823, 7.84823, etc., etc., are, it seems as though they are coming closer to a number. It's like, um, I can't think of an anagram. I can't really think um, of a, of a um, I don't know what the word is. Um, I can't really think, yeah. But it's actually coming closer and closer to a number, a certain number. Let's say, let's just say it's getting closer to 7.845, okay? It looks as though it's actually getting closer to this number. It looks like it's not going to get any further than this number. It's not going to go 7.8439, for example. And that's what we call converging. Because if you if you remember, um, or if you did triple science, converging mirrors, they would end up at a point, at one distinct point like that. But we're not going to go into science there. That's long time ago so in order to um, actually find out what the limit is we use we use the general formula so let's say for example we've got un equals n over l n plus one and we say that see see that was bad of me because i didn't tell you what the first term was and let's say that the first term is well actually no we don't even need to i don't even need to give you the first time we can work it out so the first term would be u1 equals one over one plus one equals one half um second one would be two thirds third one would be three fourths fourth one would be four fifths fifth one would be five sixths And um, I forgot what number I want. The sixth one, I think, will be six sevenths. I mean, you the, basically, I just did two, two plus one, three, three plus one, four, four plus one, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to find out what these are. Um, it would be much easier if you wrote them as decimal numbers, just because it looks as though you can actually see that it's converging. Zero point six. 
0 0.75, 0 0.8, 0 0.83 recurring as you can see look it's getting close it's getting um it's getting smaller i mean if you look at the intervals that's going by 0 0.1 that's going by um well that's 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 jumping by 0 0.15 actually oh 2000 0 0.66 let see so that's going by um 0 0.16 that's going by 0 0.09 let's say okay that's it's not really that accurate as you can see, it's actually getting smaller. The intervals, 0 0.05, are getting smaller. 0 0.03 recurring. So we can see it's actually dive, it's actually converging. And that's, um, I think that's 0 0.857, around there. And as you can see, they're converging. Now, to find out what the limit is, to find out what the number, what it would actually stop at if it actually ever does is we would replace un yeah for l and l tells us what the limit is okay l is just basically the representative of the limit so to find the limit it would be limit over limit plus one okay and using your um, wonderful skills, we can cross that out. And we find out that actually L, the limit of this, the numbers, um, what's it? The number in which all these are coming towards is 1. And that is the limit, okay? And... If I had the time, I would continue doing all the terms until we reach up to one. But we don't have that much time. And that's it for Sequences and Series Part 1. Wait um, like a day for Part 2, where we'll be talking about arithmetic series um, sequences. I'm um, using Sigma and binomial expansion for AQA um, when we're looking at C2. Oh, also, just to tell you. Um, oops. Right, going back, going back. These are all arithmetic sequences as they because they're going at a constant, you know, the term to term rule is constant. It's always add four. But don't worry about that. Okay, thank you and good night. Good yeah.